one of our first dates, Josh suggested that we go on a little road trip out to the Cotswolds. The Cotswolds is, how would you describe it? Very pretty country. Very typically English. Okay, so the Cotswolds is like a pretty spot, basically. So we put it into the sat-nav. Instead of bringing us to the Cotswolds, it brought us to a housing estate about 150 kilometers away from the Cotswolds called the Cotswolds. So I decided to rent a car and go on a date day to the Cotswolds. He put the Cotswolds into GPS and brought us to a random council estate in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. We made a kind of a funny moment of it, but we just drove back to London then. Today, Marmalade, who do car insurance, have put us in a lovely car, have given us insurance, and have sent us out back to the real Cotswolds. And on the way, we're gonna have a little bit of a, a challenge for each other. Who's the better driver? Obviously I'm going to win, but I'm gonna be nice and let you have your moment. I've never seen you drive actually. No. I don't believe that you can move a car even, <laughs> to be honest. We're gonna be doing some challenges along the way and then we'll have a lovely little date day out together. Where are you? There you are. Let's go. Remember the day you passed your test? Yeah, well, I passed second time. Ooh, I was first! Mm. Okay, what does that say about us? Apparently better drivers pass second time on both. As in why? Safe, but they're safer drivers. So, uh, uh, what is the logic behind that? Because you need to know what it feels like to fail. <laughs> okay, Oprah. I remember when I passed my test. How old were you? 17. Which is quite young. Yeah, I was the same. And I same passed age. my theory test first time as well. I couldn't believe it. I actually, to be honest, I felt like it was more of an achievement than my degree. Because <laughs> I had put so many hours. Well, it's a life skill. Yeah, and you know you'll have it forever. I thought, I am legal to drive pretty much anywhere in the world. I can get anywhere. So I have a really vivid memory of the first time I played music in my car. I played Katy Perry, I kissed a girl. Like, <laughs> full, full volume. Well, how wrong could that be? Yeah. I did not like it. No. I remember when I was first driving and got insurance for the car and everything like that, black box technology had, was only just coming in. I still don't understand what that is. <laughs> uh, I, I, I read up about it. Because you can get it with Marmalade car insurance. Basically when you have the black box installed, it monitors you know, the speed of your driving um, and the different parameters of the car while you're basically in motion. So because they can make sure you're driving safely, they can then give you your insurance cheaper. Oh. And I wish I had it back then. I know I'm, I'm 27 now, but it would have really helped with the L costings and cash that I had to put aside for insurance. My first ever insurance policy was 200 pounds more than the price of my car. Oh. Yeah. For one year. Yeah. But black box as well. It, it kind of encourages safe driving from, you know, those early stages where you're just beginning to learn the basics of driving. Yeah. And, you know, and that's the time when you pick up your habits. So it's a perfect time to put good habits into your driving that will stick with you for the rest of your driving career. Right. When my mom steps into the car with me, even now, She's such a controlling driver that she she keeps pressed that fake brake yeah, with her foot. Yeah. And I'm like, Mom, that's gonna do nothing for you. And if I'm honest, oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I think I'm a better it. driver than her. Do you love a pit stop toilet? Oh, that is bad. Okay, good luck. <laughs> We're at 30 minutes outside the Cotswolds, a lovely countryside location. I don't know where we are. Apparently gonna go to one of the 100 top restaurant hotels in the world. Josh found it on the internet. Excuse me, sir. Josh, what's that restaurant called we're going to? The what? The Wheat Inn. Wheat Inn? Sheet Inn. The wheat sheath in. This is absolutely <laughs> horrendous. I'm so horrified. I don't know what to say. <gasps> that is bad. Mm, good. Good. We're going through a stream. Little duckies. Do you see any? No. Oh. It is so stunning around here, isn't it? 
Yeah, gorgeous. All the fields of wheat. Might see Theresa May running through them in a minute. If you look hard enough. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, there she is. Hi! <laughs> Jake's our waiter. Hello. It's really nice. Your, your list is like one of the top 100 hotels in the world. Really? Yeah. Cool. That's a lot to No pressure. This menu is incredible. I basically want everything on it. No wonder this place is so famous. You hungry? It's Holly. Hi. <laughs> Holly is 13 years old. That's 90 years in dog years. And very deaf. She's very deaf. Hey, baby. And look, deaf as a post. What? Yes. Oh, she's good. She's a good girl. We just had the most gorgeous meal in uh, in the Wheat Sheath Inn. Wheat Sheath. Wheat Sheath. Irish people can't do THs. We're going to have a little more of uh, an exploration. And. Uh, then we'll go from there. I'm just looking at our car. <laughs> How badly I park. <laughs> they don't teach you this in your driving lesson. And that's why you need insurance, kid. Oh dear. Oops. Okay. Challenge number one is the parallel park. One of two challenges. I'm gonna go first and we're gonna see how quickly I can get into this spot and then, darling, it's your turn. Three, two, one. May the best woman win. win! I need silence. Okay. Okay. Am I going to do it? You're way off. What do you mean I'm way off? <laughs> Stop, you're trying to psych me out. <laughs> I don't care how many goes it takes, as long as I get it in. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> now. Stop. That's not very straight. 36 seconds. It's not very straight. It is straight. I'm in the middle. You're 36.31, so that's 37. Okay. No, that you round it down to the lowest. No, you round it up. You're over 30. You round it down. You round it up. Okay, it's, I'll give you 37 because I know you're not going to get it. Okay, your turn. I'm going to get Such back out. Such confidence in the love of your life. <laughs> okay, the battery and the GoPro died, so we are using this instead. <laughs> Oh God. Okay, wait. Three, two, one. No, hey, hey, stop. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. You're on five seconds already. Riyadh. <laughs> 10 seconds. Riyadh. La, 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 15 seconds. <laughs> oh no. No way! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Do I win? Stop! <laughs> 30 seconds, are you serious? No, I would win. Congratulations. God damn it! It's currently 1-0. We've got one more challenge and that is the hill start right ahead of you. Your last chance at redemption. But if you win, what's the... If I win, then it's one all, and then everyone's happy. <laughs> so this camera is going to be right on the wheel. If we see the wheel roll back even a tiny bit before you take off, then that's a fail. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're first. He's gonna, he's gonna ruin it. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Bye. Bye, babe. Bye. Bye. See you later. Camera is set on the wheel. Joshua, are you ready? Go. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, that's a fail. How many goes do I get? You, that's it, you get one go. It's my go now. If I don't get this though, you still win. Yeah. You're gonna be obliterated. You're done. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Meow. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Ma. Ma. Hey girls. Mm. Mm. <gasps> They're coming over. They're coming over. They're little baby. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. I love the Cotswolds. That's as far as they're going to come. We've made some friends. <laughs> it's Carol. 
Susan and Debbie living the truth. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you start your journey with marmalade and go onto the website. There's a link in the uh, description below. If you are, there's animals everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's a little mouse. Where can I you can see his little face Where? and a group of them. Oh my God, there's loads of little mice. Oh, rats, the rats. If you are um, a young driver or aspiring driver and you're looking for tips on safe driving, we want to find out more about that black box technology, head over to their website. Um, I know we could have dealt with that when we were a little bit younger trying yes. to get on the road. Yeah, all the information that you need is there. And most importantly, I wish you a happy, safe life on the road. It's going to free you and it's going to feel amazing. Bring your friends on little journeys. Bring your, bring your bay on a little journey. See, in London, you just don't get open spaces like this, do you? Mm -mm. Oh. Where in London could you get this much cow manure in one go? <laughs> Ready to go home? Yes. <laughs> yes. Back to the city for the city boy. Make sure you subscribe, uh, like this video, put a comment down below, and uh, if you want more regular updates from me. Instagram's the place to be at that Riyadh K. Oh, and make sure you put on notifications for more videos if you want a little pop up to come up every time I upload. Then do that. Big love. Talk in a few days.